Hey guys, Rexon here. Welcome back to another showcase. Today I'm going to be showcasing the Rexon free menu. It is very overpowered as like ban gun, the only working projectile miniguns right now. Not even Shiba Gold has them ever since the patch, like literally today. And just a ton of very overpowered features. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into this because this is going to be insane. All right, so this did just get update to have like sections for the menu and it works, but it is a little buggy. Some of the features are missing. Some of them, like it, like all of the buttons work, but some of the features from the older menu aren't there. So yeah, they're all gonna be fixed. So yeah, so we go to first, burst basic mods, return to main menu, that just to go back here. And then there's switch menu hands. For some reason, this is kind of bugged out. I have no idea why, but just don't use it for now. It's kind of broken. But I'll fix it in the next update. So by the time you get this menu, it's fixed. Left trigger disconnect. When you click your left trigger, you disconnect from the lobby. Join random. Joins a random lobby. It joins random game mode, random map. So yeah. Join random ghost code. So when you turn this on, it's going to queue you for all the codes like Daisy 09, Daisy, Ron, Ju, you know, all those good codes. So, you know, your ghost trolling is going to be easier. Platforms. It's good old platforms. They were rainbow, but same thing. It's kind of broken ever since this like update. All of it will be fixed in the next update. So, network plats makes it so you can see other people's plats. Moses speed boost just gives you like a small like Moses speed boost. It's kind of unnoticeable, but yeah, it's pretty. It's unnoticeable to other people, but yeah, it gives you like a pretty good speed boost if you're playing competitive. Um, now back to main menu rig mods. Also, okay, so now we have Invis Monkey. That's right secondary. This your thumb right here. And yeah, it's toggle, so you don't have to hold it. You just click it once and click it again. Same with Ghost Monkey, left secondary, so your left thumb, um, just like that. Perfect. No clip monkey, um, it works as you can see. Uh, I, you should turn on platform if you're gonna go under the map because it's gonna like break everything. Oh, so yeah, there you go. You can go under the map, and yeah. So let's just turn this off. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's a little bit buggy. I need to fix this. Holy crap. All right, so yeah, then we have Fly Monkey, right secondary. Oh, I know why it's okay. So I'll fix that. Okay, so we have Fly Monkey mute gun. This works. Um, it's only client sided though. You shoot them and then it mutes them on the leaderboard. So you know, first person camera. I have a camera mod, so I don't need this, but it basically makes it so. If you don't have a camera mod um, on your PC screen, you see a first person. No control vibrations, which makes it so you have no control vibrations if you prefer that. Anti-mod checker. All mod checkers are pretty screwed right now, but yeah, I mean, it's there if it ever gets fixed. Point gun. Basically how this works is it's um, you don't have to hold your grip, just hold your trigger on someone. And it's basically gonna like, like rotate yourself towards them. So it's really good for ghost trolling. RGB monkey, you have to be in stump for this, but and it's one of the more cleaner RGB monkeys out of more uh, of their menus. So yeah, it's pretty good. Server sided, everyone can see it. Disable network triggers. Um, this works. Let me go into actually public lobby so you guys can see this. Alright, I'm not in the room. So disable network triggers. So I go to here. See, I'm still in the lobby. Nothing happened. Um, so yeah, then we have Steam Lawn Arms. Basically, um, when you click your right trigger to get longer, left trigger shorter, and then turn it off to reset, and there's auto Steam Lawn Arms. So if you just want some nice Lawn Arms, you set it. So yeah. And then you have Head Spin. This spins your head, upside down head. Let, let me quickly just do the 3D camera so you guys can see this. Oh, hold on flip there you go so um head spin upside down head all this server sided rotate head to nearest player basically um your head is gonna rotate to like the nearest person to you so you're like a ghost like you can be facing this way what if they're behind you your head is staring into them and it's server side and it's very scary and i love it it's fast monkey oh what the heck it's not working and it was just working sign hand taps oh it just like oh yeah that's kind of bugged i need to fix that Rapid hand taps. Let me turn on loud so you can hear that. So yeah, it's pretty good. Fake lag self. This is a pretty cool feature. I'm not actually lagging, but for other people, it's going to look like I'm lagging pretty badly. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And yeah, just a reminder, all of these like dumb bugs, they're all going to be gone by the time you download it. So this, this is just like 
recorded, pre-recorded, so it's probably bad right now. So then tag assist, let me go into uh, infection for this. So tag assist to nearest player, it basically, when you Wait, click your right trigger, you like move towards the nearest person that isn't tagged. So if you're kind of bad at tagging people, it helps you. So if you kind of suck at the game, um, then tag self, it just tags yourself if you're not tagged. Also, my materials are broken. Tag Aura, it's holding right trigger. You can see like a circle below you. That's like the radius which you can tag people from. So if they're in this radius, you'll just like tag Aura. You'll just tag them instantly. So yeah, let's just use Tag Self real quick so I can show you guys this. So right trigger. Kind of bad. Here you go. That took a while. It's a tag Aura. It's, yeah, it's just a Tag Aura. So if you're on a bad game, Tag All, right trigger. This tags everybody. Tag gun. If you make a gun with your hand, and eh, it'll tag them. Let's tag self. So tag gun. So yeah, this is disconnect from the lobby. So yeah, it's pretty good. Now we go to the visual mods. Uh yeah, I only left. So, oh crap, I suck. <laughs> So server-sided tracers, it doesn't work at the moment. I'll probably, by the time you're using it, it'll most likely be fixed, but it makes so everybody can see the tracers. Tracers, this is just client-sided. You can see who's not tagged, who's tagged. Uh, modder tracers, same thing. Modder checkers aren't really working, so it's kind of useless. But yeah, I guess it works if you wanna. I mean, uh, so now safety mods. These are just if you wanna make sure you don't get banned. Anti-crash. This is pretty useless because um, crash mods aren't really a thing anymore, but I guess lag mods, it'll prevent that. Re-enable projectiles. Anti-crash kind of just breaks all projectiles, so this will just re-enable them. But if a lot of people have spam projectiles, you might lag a little. No name. This works. Uh, you just join no name on your chest or whatever. Lag all. It does work, but it, like I was talking about anti-crash, it's kind of bad. It barely lags them. Most people aren't going to think they're lagging. It's just like a 20 hertz drop, so they're going to go from, like, say, 60 to 40 or, like, like 90 to 70. So it's not going to be that noticeable. Anti-report, this works. If they get your hand, their hand too near your report button and you leave, and then this is how far, if you're left and right trigger, this is how far away they have to be from the button for you to leave. So, yeah. Um, then we have anti-anti-cheat report. It works. It only works for a few parts of the anti-cheat. It doesn't, it's not like really that good, but it's better on and not. Anti-report V3, this only works in force right now, but basically it just spams like a ton of water balloons onto the um, leaderboard. So basically nobody can even see your name. So, you know, that's good. Anti-RPC ban. This is pretty useless now because RPCs are kind of hard to get banned with now because the projectile stuff was like patched. Well, I unpatched it, but you know, it's pretty useless, but you can use it if you want. Anti-report V4. Um, this is not working. Anti-ban. Um, I'm not sure if it works. It might work, but yeah, and you can leave it on if you want. Anti-RPC kick. It, this does work. It prevents you from getting kicked for too many RPCs, but it's pretty detected for most people, so... You know, for some people it's not, some people it is, it depends. World mods, these are like rope mods, all this cool stuff. So, if we go to canyons quickly. Hold on. So, this is all server-sided, by the way. Ropes up. Ropes down. Freeze ropes. It's fast ropes. No. See, it's service. Oh, no, it's it's Ropes itself. Destroy senses gun. It kind of just like makes it so they can't really hear or see or do anything. Um, water splash self. It splashes water in itself. Mod flacker check offs. When you use this, then whoever has a mod checker, ever, it's going to show that everyone has mods. Because that's pretty cool. So whoever still has a mod checker, it kind of just screws them. Um, we're in. Um, what else? And then you have um, gravity. You can make this number lower. So then if it's on, you have low gravity. And then you can make it higher. So then if you have it on, it's higher gravity, you see? And then just turn it off to set it back to normal. So now we have 
Where are my project mods? Also, I'm pretty sure the reason um, people weren't able to see rope mods too well is because... Actually, I think I know what's wrong with it. Hold on. Let me try one more time. Yo, guys, can you hear me? Wait, I have a question. Do the ropes go up for you? Or no? Wait, guys, are the ropes going up? Oh, I know. Yeah. I need to fix this. But I'm pretty sure it works. It's kind of bad. I need to fix all these dumb mods. Eh. Alright, then we have um, projectile mods. This is like the cool part. Because no other menu has working projectile mods right now, but this menu does. So you can customize what color, how fast the projectiles go, um, what type of projectile is, and then there's also impact mods. So, and then you can auto cycle the type of projectile. And then this works, but you have to have your um, left hand on the ground for it to work. So then you just shoot like that. And yeah. In some lobbies, some reason it doesn't work, but it's only like a few lobbies. Is it working this one? Not this one. Hold on, you might have to lobby hop a wincy dip. Okay. There you go. Let's see if it works here. Oh. Yep, works here. You know if it's working if the counter is going up, so that means it's server sided. And yeah. So everyone should be able to see it. So if I shoot it at them, they're gonna be confused. So, yeah, they see that. And then projectile spammer. Projectile rain. And rains it from above. Projectile fountain. So it just shoots it up. Um, shoot projectiles at nearest player. It'll just shoot this. So you can use this for paint brawl, I guess. So it shoots it at the nearest player. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me show you guys. Let me see what's shooting at that guy. Impact effect spammer. Why is, it, why is it like off by a little? Oh, I need to grab. Here we go. What the hell? That's weird. But yeah, then you can change it to say rainbow. Impact effect gun. This is all server sided. Impact effect door. It does it like around you. Look, look, look. Yo, guys, wait, guys. Dang. Can you see this? Can you see this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're reporting me. It doesn't matter. I got a ton of accounts. So then we have OP mods. So this is the fun part. I recommend going into modded casual if you want to use set master for some of the mods. But some of them used to work in public. So yeah. Um, OP mods. So there's kick, mo kick mods. Basically, um... You have to be in stump in a private lobby. So say Daisy09 is a private lobby, so you could do it there. You can just shoot somebody and then tell them to walk out of stump. And when they walk out, they're going to be kicked. It should be undetected, but I don't know from currently, like in this latest update. But yeah, for me it was. So then vibrate mothers, others and slow others, whatever. You need to get master client for this. So just do this. And now you can slow others. Yo, I have a question. Server sided. Yo, I have a question. Is, uh, Wait, dude, can you move around real now? quick? Just can you just move around real quick? Hey, 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 hey can I, hey, can I set it tonight? I'm gonna set it to a day, okay? Is it Wait, day could now? you guys move around real quick? Just like move around. It, 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 yo, yo, is it day? Is it day right now? Well, yeah, it is day. That stuff is client sided. Wait, dude, could you move around? Just like move around side to side. So you see, slow all. Uh, move around. He can't. Right he can't really. Yeah, see, he can't really move. You see that? And then sit so in vibrate mods. This vibrates their controllers. Gives it a master client. Band gun. It does work. I've tested it before. Yeah, it works, but it's not instant. So we shoot it at him. He should get banned eventually. Play static sound. It's like it's kind of bad, but if you don't have a soundboard, I guess. Anti ban. Um, I'm not sure if it works, but it kind of breaks the game. So be careful with it. Um, spam index audio. Basically, this. Plays the audio that's down here, so right trigger and grip. So 
it'll play that audio and you can change this audio if you're um trigger so say right trigger and then we could play this so you can like choose whatever audio you want break others audio so hold your right grip and trigger only they can hear it so it kind of like breaks their audio break audio gun only the person you shoot i can hear it break audio um, v2 and then break audio gun v2 so yeah that's it so yeah at the moment this menu it ha barely has anything it's kind of bad um and the up the by the time you guys are using it it's gonna be very good because this is probably like recorded from a day back because i'm like fixing all of this so yeah just the discord server for the mod menu is going to be in the description and in the comments and yeah so thank you for watching and bye bye